half seven, or is eight in the morning. Which is why there's a lot of people around because it's a commuting to work hour. So, as soon as I say that, no one's here, but there was a lot of people earlier. <laughs> It's been a while since I've done a walk and talk. <laughs> been busy doing other things on YouTube and stuff, work and yeah. Anyway, let's get back to it. Look at that, it's a comet! Turtle! It's amazing when they do that, basking. Don't see that in England. Masks aren't mandatory now, just advised. When you're working, it is. So I don't care about not having a mask here when I'm not going to the shop. I'll use them in the shop, but I'm just walking today, no shop. So I'm just gonna be no masks. Down that way is to the shopping mall, which is closed still. We're going down this way today. We're going towards those mountains. So I've got a plan where I'm going. I think it's about a 25 minute walk to where I want to go. So I won't be recording all of it until then. Plus the lighting's terrible at the moment because of the sun's position and the direction I'm walking. But yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it now and bring you back. I'm a bit closer. So see you then. The fish are going crazy. I don't think you can see that. There's a uh, fish are mating, doing the egg thing. You can hear it. Can you see it? Just about. And there's a crow there. Is that a crow? Yeah, he's like, what's going on? I'm going to cross here. You guys go mental over there, look at it. Hopefully you can see that. Fish are going mental. Yeah, you can see that, look at a mental fish. Everyone's off to work. I've got a day off, so I'm using it to have a good walk. I <laughs> still get random look sometimes in here, like what a bark sort of look, even though I've been here for a year now. I don't think I'm ever going to lose that, I think everyone's going to think I'm a foreigner, or like a person who's on holiday forever, I think. <laughs> and then again you get someone who's like Lara's face, just looking at like, what the hell are you doing, and I'm like, well I'll live here. <laughs> it's brilliant. Through the underground. We did do the thing you can't do here though. <laughs> it's not as off. Doesn't resonate well in here. Not like some places. Getting closer. I can 
illness people everywhere. Right. Lighting's still terrible. <laughs> I can't get a good angle. I think it's just because the direction going, it's constantly going a bigger direction than I go. I think going west. There's something behind me, I think. Which is why it's casting all this shadow on me, because I'm behind. Yeah, that's what happened. We've got the sun behind me, so you're constantly seeing. Not really nothing. Look at this suit. That mountain's amazing. So we're not, we're not that far away actually. It's not as I thought. I thought it was far further, but it's not. So, I mean, it's been 20 minutes so far since I started walking. So it's probably about a 30 minute walk. It's really there. Look at these mountains. It looks nothing like it does on there. That looks terrible on camera compared to real life. The scale is insane. Love this area. These mountains I'm always looking at in the morning. Another cosmos over there, really. Oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, I forgot to bring a bag of me so I can buy some stuff on my way back. Oh well. I have to go back out later, I guess, as we're shopping. I didn't realise. I think from yesterday, I think, in Japan, it's now a legal requirement to wear a helmet when you're on a bicycle. I was like, what? I didn't realise that they didn't have that rule. Like, in England, it's been like that for like, years. I think since the uh, late 90s, isn't it? And 2023, and I only thought, oh, we better wear a helmet when you're on a bicycle. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it's crazy. But they got these like designed helmets, they look like hats, they don't like helmets, no one wants to wear helmets, they look like an idiot, they say. But they designed these like hat helmets to make it look, look more normal. It's definitely this way. They're never like satisfied with something. They like, they make something, they design something in Japan and go, well we could do better than that, and they just keep designing new things. They, they get bored of a design within really, like a week. So there's like a million different designs constantly coming out in Japan. <laughs> it's never a stop. You've got so much like selection of designs and that in this country. This is a production country. Oh, we're here. Okay, it's quick enough for us. We're going over there. And it has been 24 minutes, so it's definitely closer than I realised. But I need to get over there. How do I get over there now? Last time I got over there, I've been here before, about a couple months ago, and I recorded it. It's on YouTube, it's on one of my videos, but. I think it's called Surrounded with Mountains. I was going to come back and I've come back. It's cool. There's a cafe here. It doesn't open until half 11. Huh? We've got to find a way in. I don't remember how I got there because that's where I want to be. But how do I get there? I might have to go around. Okay, we've got to figure a way around there. And get off this boring road. Urban, urban. I'm fed up with urban look. Oh man, look at that though. Wow, there you go. There's your uh, temple as well. This is like Tomb Raider, man. The reboot of Tomb Raider. Look at it. Tomb Raider reboot here. There's your temple, and there's like your uh, pylon as well on <laughs> the distance. And I've got to figure a way getting over there. I guess we're going to have to go boring route, which is around here. So we're going to check out the temple first. I'll see if it's uh, public, and we'll soon find out. Across here, went 50 years for a light.
Latvia. Look at this. You wash your hands and got yourself. Is that no water here? It's just coins we normally hmm. Where's the water? I can't remember what I came here last time, I don't think I did. I didn't bother last time. Look at that. Look at such a good day today. I'm going to go over there and rest over there at some point. I don't know, you can see there's mountains every direction. Down there, a load of mountains. Oh, those mountains are great. Down there, I think that's where Pusorzan was, where I went last year. I think it's that mountain over there. Play sun. And then you've got that tower over there. It's near where I live. Oh, it's good to see some greenery in it. It's good to be out of the urban and see over it. This is what I like about this place. It's not loads of high buildings. It's like just nice and like spacious and there's not many apartment buildings like high ones but they are building more and more and it's annoying it's not like Tokyo it'd be right up there you wouldn't see anything at least you've got a sky and you've got mountains it's just perfect about this place but it is run down quite badly run down but that's another charm to it though now let's try I've never been in this temple not temple, shrine. Is it temple or is it shrine? Or... This is a temple, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. You can tell by the uh, gates. So this is uh, Buddhism. Brought over by the Chinese but learnt from India. I don't know if anyone's here. My legs are fucked. God, this is steep. Nice and clean, this one. Look at that. More people around than I thought. I was going to go over there, but someone's really taken that spot. There's not enough resting points. I'd sit down, I want to sit down and have a chat, but there is nowhere to sit down here. I mean, there's no way to see. I don't think there's a way to sit in temples. So I feel like it's rude to like sit down and chat on a camera in a temple. I don't know, it just feels off. No one's around now, but that kind of the view of that area there, of the mountain, that's amazing. But people have just stolen my uh, area. I was going to sit in. Oh well, this is just as cool. Oh look, there's a bench, we can actually sit here. Okay, this is Chiwu, I guess, today. Look at this. Okay, this is just, this is better, actually. Oh man. I mean, when, when you like, City. I've been over a year now in this city. And sometimes you just need to get away. 
and just be out in the open like this. I know I'm in the city still, but I'm not. Uh, buildings. You know, you've got all this. And it's just uh, resets your mind, I guess. I do really miss the uh, countryside of England. That really is amazing. But as you can see, there's no countryside area. Just suddenly a mountain, but there's no, there's no like forest to go through or any like woodlands or anything like that. Not where I am. So sometimes when I just see greenery like this, just uh, just reminds me of home. Isn't a real spot I can put my camera down so you can see the view I'm seeing. There's all the uh, all like pipe like that, so there's no way I can rest it. I can only rest it down the bench, but you don't see anything. It's not that far away if you want to get here. Just another 30 minutes, you know. I don't want to just get away from greyness. ground. I can always come here for a bit. Got the Sim City area, got the buildings. So you've got this amazing view. And then you've got this amazing like temple. Let's explore this temple a little bit. I don't know why stands there but no one's here, who cares. Massive. It's crazy, like in carving, like doing all these engravings in kanji like, on stone. It's just mental. Look at all this. They probably have a camera outfit, like I'm just on the tourist mode again, and I and everyone's like, oh, there's a tourist here. Like, no, I live here, just that I'm in tourist mode, I guess. I don't know if you can record this, so I'm not gonna do a little. But you can rent out here. Man. 
So you've got England, and you've got churches. You've got churches in England. They, do, they, are, they are impressive. But, I'm sorry. This is much more impressive than a church. And you've got like, in the mountains, you've got like this. Much more relaxing than the church. It's quite a small temple here. Wrong one. Let's try and get a good angle. There we go. That's not that bad with the trees in the background. I wanted to get like that amazing view in the background, but I haven't got anywhere to put my camera. Even if I had my uh, tripod, small tripod I got, it wouldn't be high enough to get the background. But that's a shame, isn't it? There we go. Finally away from the building area. <laughs> I, just, I don't know how people can just go, yeah, I love the city, but city people, I don't get them, they're not human. To me, they're not human. When you're like in a countryside or just trees and greenery like this, it's all got inattention just goes. Just feel your muscles just relax. The tension goes. It's not really some stress, not stressed, just tense. And I don't know why, I think it's just. It's not even that it's busy where I live. So it's not because of the busy people and people everywhere. I don't think that's what's causing the tension. I think it's just no nature. You know, humans are animals, we are connected to nature. And without that connection, I think it just tense up. Just having trees and nature life, and open spaces and just not man-made stuff, just eases your uh, inner self, I guess. It's hard to explain. And that's another reason people meditate, I guess. Because meditate, when you do meditation, you get that effect where your everything just you lose tense. You don't, where your attention goes and your body and that, which you get naturally by being in environments like this. But people can't get to these environments. Obviously, meditation helps that. May, May the 1st, today, and it does get hot in the afternoon, but it's not yet, it's still early morning, but this would not be possible in the summer, so I need to make the most of it before summer hits, and do a few more walking talks in interesting areas and go out further, because in summer, you're not going to get these videos in summer. Be my first video uh, summer on YouTube because I started the channel just after some summer, I think. When all just started kicking in. So in summer, it'd be just the usual coffee and chats indoors. Probably iced coffee as well because I've got to learn how to do iced coffee. In summer, I don't think I want a coffee in summer. Maybe in the morning when it gets too hot. The only down point of uh, Japan is the summer. Not just the heat, but all the uh, bugs come out. You've got more uh, chance of seeing a Japanese death hornet, whatever you call them. I haven't seen one yet, but they're deadly. Actually go after you. I've seen uh, there's 60 types of hornets in Japan and I've seen like a kind of semi-dangerous one which is they live nearby us that you get in 
quite common. They're not dangerous, like if you get bit by one or stung by one, I mean, it's not like fre life threatening like the Japanese death horn or whatever you call it, that is life threatening if you get hit by its uh, toxics, toxins. But the one you often see around this area, you just get a big, you might just get a massive lump or something. It, it is toxin, but it's not like life threatening. It's just gonna be, it's just very painful. I think I've seen one of them last year, but they don't really, they don't actually go humans. This is you really get close to them one day, but those, the most dangerous ones, they will actively go for you. And you get in mountains like this, but it's sort of too early for those still. And it's more in the countryside, not so much like here, all the buildings and cars and people around. Less. Normally living in like holes and like in trees, which I can see a tree and has a hole in it, so that's, that's a prime zone for one, but it's still not hot enough for them yet. I can see like the main highway there, you know. It's a really clear day today. Not the clearest, there's a bit of like pollution or something in the air because it's not. Clear enough to see the mountains, very clear in the distance, but it's you can tell the atmosphere is a bit weird today. But it is definitely got blue skies, but you can I don't know if you can see on the camera, it's blue skies, but it's kind of like hazy, so the atmosphere is a bit weird, probably pollution. You would see those mountains even clearer if it was a clear day, but it's not kind of the sun off. You can tell here the great. The, what do we call it? The gradient here is a bit weird. It's a bit like hazy and not clean. But completely blue skies. Which is why it gets really hot when the sun's out. The sun's not out properly yet. But lunch time. You will burn, so I need to get back before lunch. But I will be anyway. It's only uh, probably about 8, 10 past 8. It looks like someone's coming up to this temple, so. Coming up, man, look at this amazing view though. Someone's coming up. I'm gonna end it here and I'm gonna chill for a bit longer. See you next time.